In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a frame design, a border frame design. And uh, this is in a CS6. Of course, there's thousands of ways of uh, creating uh, border designs in Photoshop. This is just one way of doing it. So I'm just going to quickly uh, go to a document. I'm, the end result is basically this sort of frame design here. And during the tutorial, I'm going to be using the new airbrush features in CS6. So I'm just going to go to the document. There's the document there. Now, initial thing, I'm just going to go over to the brush tool. And the brush tool that I'm actually using is one of the airbrush tools. I'm just going to go and click one of the airbrush tools here. There's the airbrush tool. That's in the brush palette in CS6. And you'll see various settings. Now, if you actually apply the brush, and I'm just going to apply it in white to create the initial frame. So you can just create that sort of frame. Well, that's not particularly a great size, so I'm just going to create a slightly bigger one. So I'm just going to extend that slightly. And I'm going to use the spacing set to the bare minimum. So it's just really a one continuous line. It's just going to be white all the way around, just to create the uh, initial sort of setup. So, right, first thing, just go there. And I'm going to hold down the shift key so I can create a straight line very easily. I'm just going to go straight down like that with the current airbrush. Release the shift. Now click down the bottom again. Drag along. And you just go all the way along. And that's again in a straight line by holding the shift key down. Now release again. Now you go upwards. Release again and drag across to there. Now, of course, if you want to actually make it greater than 100, you could, of course, set it, say, 164, 195. So just, again, just quickly ply just down there. I'm just going to apply a bit more roughly so you can actually see the, the the dots along there, create the sort of frame edge. So, again, release the shift, then just drag across it. Again, it's a straight line, just across. Don't have to be exact. This Now, the spacing section setting is the probably the easiest way. I'm just going to just increase that a bit so you actually get sort of more dots into the thing. Instead of a, just a continuous line, you'll actually see now some... Of course, you can play around with the different settings here, but these sort of settings here are a reasonable distortion, splatter size, etc. You can just, of course, tweak this if you want, but this is a new CS6 feature uh, on PC or Mac. Now, I'm just going to go over to here apply across again, holding the shift down, just so you just see, just subtle dots, again release the mouse again, and just keep across, across, again you could do it again if you wish to create another layer, That's basically that's the initial thing. Now, if you want to create now a frame with a inner frame kind of thing with a sort of black frame, or of course another color if you wish, you don't have to have black. So, I'm just going to use the black. Now, I'm just going to reduce the size down for that. I don't want to create obviously one that's uh, so I'm going to reduce it down to about 160, about 62, say 60, whatever. And I'm going to start there. So, it's just going to be this edge just down here. So, again, I'm just going to use the shift. Hold it to keep it a straight line. You don't have to do that, but it makes it easier just to create. Release again. Go upwards. Release again. And you know, obviously you can, if you want to create a sort of just around the edge, just to, and you can play around with this. Obviously for a while, you can just keep, maybe create it in a frame again. So go across. So you can create more and more complicated frames if you wish. Right. So that's a quick and easy way of creating the frame design. Of course, like I say, you can say so you can create uh, frame designs using uh, um, distortions, glass, vex, whatever. But this is one way of using the brush tools to create quick and easy frames in Photoshop. 